said, good morning. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, I had a request. Um, a fellow wants to uh, look inside this old uh, manufacturing lathe. So I got the headstock cover off because, uh, well, I'll get back to why. Uh, you see the, the level here? It's down just a little bit. But you fill it up, and, and uh, on some of these, and this is one of them, and it stays great for a long time, then all of a sudden there's no oil in it, so you fill it up again, and then maybe, you know, it, it's, it's a mystery. But all the oil ends up down in here, and the oil is way above the sight glass, uh, which is uh, right, <laughs> right here. But it doesn't hurt anything. It's not churning because there's nothing inside this machine. It's just uh, there's no uh, thread cutting or something. So there's just the spindle and uh, these um, uh, tachometer drive gears. So there's nothing down in there. But I'm going to drain the oil down. Um, uh, the the question is is if you could take this machine and uh, put the uh, regular thread cutting machine parts into it and when I got this machine years ago I called Monarch and asked them about that and they says no because the it's just not uh, complete completed enough in machine in in the factory machining to do that and you can see the spindle here is, uh, it would have to be replaced. There's no keyways or anything on, on that. So anyway, we'll look at the end here. Well, get the light back on. And uh, that's uh, where the gear case would go. Right in there, right in here. And I, I don't see anywhere where it bolts. But I, I really haven't got into these lathes very much uh, mechanically because I prefer <laughs> to buy ones that work. <laughs> and that, that's, a, that's a little better deal there. I got a really neat demo I'm going to do here. We're going to check the, uh, uh, you know, just how, where the woggle is in this old machine. We're gonna, I'm going to cut this bar and gauge it, and uh, that, that's coming. I'll, I'll try to get that, <laughs> that done today. Okay, so we're looking at the, the manufacturing light there. Uh, it, it would normally have a knob here, and it looks like there's a bushing and a plug. But I, I think the main problem is back here on that gear case. And we'll, we'll get over here to the the queen under the tarp the super hot rod okay yeah see here's the gear case on it for the in gear train and i i guess it bolts back into there um the uh, other machine has a plug you know or cap for the counter shaft i i don't know you know, you'd have to take the headstock off and at least and drill and tap it and surface it. I, I, I don't know. I haven't really been that far into that to know very much. So, okay, that, that's uh, about all I can say about uh, that subject. And, uh, oh, I just got so many things going. I got uh, the um, uh, primer paid a little bit of bondo on my... Uh, Axles and steady rest project. Oh, that's just really gonna be nice. So anyway, I, I'll get back with more on the 10 double E. Thanks for looking in.